Hey Vsauce, Michael here made a short about the simultaneous brightness contrast illusion where it looks like the circle is changing color when in fact it isn't. I thought it'd make for a great coding project, so let's implement it using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And then I'll teach you how to negate it so the illusion doesn't work anymore. Coding with Radu. Let's code now. We begin with Visual Studio Code open in an empty folder and create our HTML file here, index.html. It's going to be the only file we work with today. And here we start to write basic HTML. So let's have here our doc type and the HTML tag. And inside, let's define our head section and give the page a title. Let's call it illusion. Now the page also needs a body like that. Let's save this and open it in the browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And the only thing you notice is here, the title saying illusion. Otherwise this is an empty document. Let's give our body a style next. And I'm going to do that here in the style tag. Our body will have zero margin and zero padding. So it spans the full screen. And I'm going to have a background as a linear gradient. Going towards the right, starting at dark gray color and going towards a light gray color like this. Now, if we save the file and refresh the page, you will not notice anything different. And that's because if I'm going to open up the developer tools, you'll see that this body has a height of zero by default when it doesn't have anything added to it. So let's make it span the full viewport height. And I'm going to do that here by saying height is 100 VH for viewport height. Save this, refresh, and here's our gradient. On this, I'm going to add a circle, a gray circle, and let's define a CSS class for it here. This circle is going to have a width of 100 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, and I'm going to put the border radius of 50%. This is going to make it look like a circle, otherwise it's going to be a square. And set its background color to a mid-level gray, like so. Now, I want this circle to be in the middle of the screen, so let's set its position to absolute and have it 50% from the top, 50% from the left, and this is going to align its top left corner to the middle of the screen, so I also need to translate it by half its width and half its height to the left and to the top. And I do that using transform, translate, minus 50%, minus 50%. And we can now add this circle class to any element on the page. I'm going to just define here a div with ID circle and the class circle, the circle class we just defined. Let's save this, refresh, and you can now see a circle here in the middle. Not that visible because it's here in this mid-gray region of the gradient. What we're going to do next is move the circle on the screen like this. I'm going to animate it using an interval. So we do that in JavaScript. Here we need to open a script tag. And inside the script tag I'm going to type set interval and give it a callback function, a function that does something repeatedly over and over again. This function is not going to take any parameters and it's going to modify the style of the circle, its left value, to something else. By default, the middle of the screen we will use as a reference and that will be window inner width divided by 2. This is the center of the screen. To this now, we're going to add a value for which I'm going to use some fancy math. Let me just type it in and I will explain it soon. We're going to use the sine function 
and the date object to get the current time. Divide this value by 1000 and multiply this value by how much we want the circle to go in each of the two sides relative to the center screen. So let's multiply by window inner width multiplied by 0 0.3. This means 30% to the left, 30% to the right. So the circle will move 60% of the screen's width. And this needs to be in pixels. So I will concatenate here the string VX for it to work. Now I can close here this callback function. And the second parameter that goes into this set interval is how frequently we want it to repeat. And I'm going to put here 30 milliseconds. Let's save this, refresh the page, and now we get this. And uh, this works because of the sine function. Its output is between minus 1 and 1. And when you multiply those by the width of the window times 0 0.3, you get this range. And the function has this kind of smooth effect to it. The reason why we put here divided by 1000, it's because this get time returns the number of milliseconds since 1970. It's a huge integer. And without it, the sign would just go crazy like this. Super fast. So we slow it down a bit by giving it some floating point numbers to work with. Okay, but look at this now. I definitely see this circle changing color as it moves from left to right. It's crazy, even though I know that I haven't changed its color at all, it stays the same gray color we defined in the circle class. To make things more interesting, I'm going to add two more circles, one on each side of this uh, range. So let me just go here and copy this. I will say left circle and this will be right circle. And these will be static, they won't be moving. And I will set here left circle, its left value will be the inner width of the window times 0 0.2 in pixels. So 20% from the left. And let's copy this. The right circle will be 80% from the left, so 20% from the right. The right circle. We save, refresh, and here they are. And when I look at them from left to right, I definitely see the circle on the right as darker than the one on the left, even though all of them have exactly the same intensity. Really weird, isn't it? Now, I thought it would be interesting to try to cancel out this illusion. Because I definitely see the circle on the right as darker than the one on the left, I'm going to try increasing its brightness artificially in code. So let me select it here. And here for the styles, I'm going to give it a filter and set its brightness to something else. The default value is 1, so doing this doesn't change its intensity. But if you put here, for example, 2, then that increases it by 100%. If you put here 0, then this decreases it by 100%. And I'm just going to put the value of maybe something like 1.1 and see how this looks like. I still see it a bit darker than the one on the left. How about you? Let me know in the comments. I think I'm going to try 1.2 here. And this is definitely better. I think this is good. When I look on the left and on the right, both circles look the same to me. But you can definitely see this one in the middle uh, is becoming, is much darker than the one on the right. And what we'll do is we'll change the color of this one gradually as it's moving towards the right will interpolate from this color here to this color here now to try to cancel out the illusion. Let's see. First, let's take this 1.2 value and add it in our code so that it affects when we refresh the page. And right here, right circle, style, 
filter is equal to brightness of 1.2, like so. Now, to do this interpolation, we need to know how far the circle is moving. And we'll use this value here for that. But because we use this value again, I'm going to set it as something like a variable here. T is equal to this value. And here we can just type T and now move this maybe to this line. So the code is a bit nicer. So at the moment when we refresh, everything still works. But now this circle here is lighter in color when we refresh the page. And let's try to make the moving circle lighter depending on this T value. I'll do that by typing here circle and then style.filter is equal to brightness of something. And to this string, I'm going to concatenate next a value. And this value is going to be one. I want it to start at the initial brightness and add here 20%. So 0 0.2, but this will depend on this T value. Now the T will be between minus one and one because that's how the sine function outputs it. And I would like to change this to be between zero and one so that when it's on the right, it will have the maximum intensity that comes from this 20%. And when it's on the left, it will have zero of that. So it will have just one and 1 1.2 on the right side. And to do this, I'm just going to multiply here by t plus one. So this will transform t from minus one to one into the new interval zero to two. And to get that to be between zero and one, I have to divide it by two, like so. Let's also close here the parentheses from this brightness by concatenating another string, save, and let's try refreshing. Yeah, I don't know about you, but for me, this works. Let me know in the comments if this value works for you, or even better, head over to my website where I've added a slider that controls the brightness of this rightmost circle. Choose the value that works for you and press submit. I'm curious if we all see this in the same way. See you guys.